Let's write clean code using CQRS. CQRS stands for Command Query Responsibility Segregation, and it allows us to separate a code that reads data from the code that changes the state of the system. Commands change the state, like creating, updating, or deleting records. Meanwhile, Queries allow us to simply read data without making any modifications. This is useful for organization and strategy purposes. Let's look at an example. Suppose we have a dental clinic application and we want to list dental offices and also create new ones. And we're going to apply CQRS. So let's start with querying a list of dental offices. It is a query because we only want to read data and we don't want to modify it. The first thing we need is the output data type of this operation. In our case, it is dental offices list DTO, which has an ID and a name. Also, we need a query. A query is a class that represents an operation we want to make. If we wanted to pass a parameter to this operation, we would add it as a property of this class. In this case, we don't have any properties because we don't want to apply any filters, nor we have any need to pass any data to the method that is going to query the list of dental offices. Now, speaking of querying the list of dental offices, that can be done in a handler class. Here we have this handler get dental offices, which is going to take the query, it's going to receive the get dental offices list query, the request, and it's going to apply some logic. In this case, we're going to use a repository, then we're going to map to a DTO, and then we're going to return a response. Now, optionally, in the controller, we can use a mediator pattern so that we can send the query, the instance of the query, pass it to the mediator, and simply receive the response. Now, if we want to make a command, we do the same process, and in the end, we will have that we instantiate a command, we pass the name of the dental office we wish to create, and then we pass that to the mediator, and a corresponding handler would get executed. But the idea here is that, as you can see, all of our code is in different classes, leading to better organization. And also, I spoke about a strategy in the past, because, for example, if you want to have an optimized database for reading and an optimized database for modifying, then you can do that easily, because you already have the parts that modify the system in one place and the parts that only read the system in another place, which allows you to implement different strategies. Follow me for more Donna content.